Okay, we are once again uh, at Texas Frightmare Weekend 2009. I'm Jay Real, and uh, it's Sunday, last day of the event. It's been a great show, uh, outstanding, and I'm here with Mr. James Hampton. Uh, of course, he's the father in Teen Wolf. Uh, he, he's done many, many uh, projects in his uh, career as an actor. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about was your role in Sling Blade. Uh, you run the Nervous Hospital, as uh, as Carl calls it, and uh, one of my favorite movies, recent movies, I watched that over and over. I love that movie, and I love your role in it. Very natural, very you know, uh, real realistic, you know, and, and very compassionate. Uh, how did you get that role? I was I talked to you earlier, and, and, and it's uh, interesting how you got involved in that with uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, at that time, uh, I was doing a couple of shows. Uh, one was called Evening Shade. I was a writer-director on that show, and um, from that show I went over to um, a show called uh, Hearts of Fire with uh, John Ritter, and uh, so, and, and, and um, Billy Bob was in that, part of that cast, I was looking for, for the picture, there was, um, and Billy Bob, one day he came to me and he it gave me uh, a script and he said, I'd like you to read the script that I wrote a part for you. And it said Sling Blade. And I thought, oh, it sounds like a horror picture, you know. Yeah. And um, I said, sure, I'll be glad to. Well, it was a fantastic script. And, and um, I said, I'd be glad to do it. So we all, everybody did it all for scale and so forth and so on. And uh, he, he wrote it in three days. I don't think anybody ever changed a word. He directed it very minimalistically. He just set up the shot and leave it alone. Very often, it's just a it's a, a wide shot, and and it's no, no cut no cutaways, no right. close-ups. Just it, and it works Let the actors, fabulously in, yeah. in the movie. Let the actors act. Right, let them go. <laughs> or don't act. See, you you don't see them catch it. Don't react. I mean, they, we were nominated. At, uh, with Screen Actors Guild is one of the best is the best ensemble cast, and uh, we uh, Birdcage beat us, but then that was a, they have a fat, fantastic cast. But I think I think ours was the best. <laughs> well, of course, Billy Bob Thornton uh, won the Oscar won the Oscar that year for his writing. I, I think he also should have won as the best actor. Fabulous performance. And I thought I thought we had the best film. I did, I did too, personally. I'm not, just, I'm not just saying it. I did too. No, but I mean, I might make somebody mad, but I don't think that the English patient has, you know, the appeal of this movie. It has the style, the way that it's shot. It, it has, I don't know, almost like a southern gothic feel to it. I mean, it's, 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 it's you a very... Could, you couldn't guess what was going to happen next. And you, and out of nowhere, some somebody would make you laugh, uh, and out of nowhere, somebody would make you cry, and it was just. I heard somebody interviewing uh, Billy Bob and saying, "What kind of films do you want to do?" And he said, "Well, it said most people want a, a big story, you know, big stars," and he said. And I, I think I, I wanted just a little story, you know. And uh, story about real people, yeah. about real emotions. Exactly, you know. exactly. But of course, that's hard to sell. Much you, it's it's easier to sell, as you probably know, a big movie with a lot of that costs a lot of money than it is a smaller movie because they don't they want to mess with that. You know? and, and in that case, Sling Blade was kind of like the little movie that could, you know, yes. the way that it caught fire and. and I, 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 I totally agree. I totally agree. And it's just nice to have something that, you know, on your resume. I mean, it's... Uh, so I, I was awfully lucky. I think you can be... I was in Hollywood almost 40 years, and um, uh, everything, I, I mean, you can be out there all your life and never hit a, a really good film, you know what I mean? Make good living, everything like that. But... Longest Yard, Sling Blade, uh, the... <laughs> Sorry, been lucky enough to be in some greats. And, uh, of course, you were in F Troop. F and, 
the and, but as you said, you also were a writer and director. And and how was that? How you became uh, you know connected to the business? Is that the first thing you did was as a writer? It got to be. It got to be. Uh, it got to be an easier task to get uh, a job as a director. They give you like six slots, and um, and uh, you know when you you go in and read for a part, it's one part. But you go in and talk to them about directing six or seven shows, so so that was it. Right. It was just economics. <laughs> well, you know, that Hearts of Fire. That's another show that I that I watched, and I, I was uh, sad that it was canceled. I, I really enjoyed yeah. the show. It's very. It was and very, Shade was the best best awesome. cast and Burt Reynolds. And I wrote a show for Michael Jeter that won him an, an Emmy, which made me pretty happy about that. I miss him. I miss him too. Um, and uh, what uh, what have you been working on recently? What can we see you in uh, uh, that's upcoming? I did a little short subject. Not a short subject. I did a I had a small part in a movie last year called Fire from Below. I believe it'll be on the Sci-Fi Channel this coming fall. It stars Kevin Sarbo, and uh, it's produced by um, um, <laughs> it'll come to me. Andrew Stevens. I was somehow stuck on a Alexander or something. It's okay. <laughs> it's kind of. I have trouble remembering my own name sometimes. I so don't. <laughs> well, it's it's a lot of stuff going on. Right exactly. Now. <laughs> and um, uh, one last thing before I go, uh, of course, uh, Michael J. Fox and Team Wolf. Uh, yes, I forgot yeah. about that. And, and uh, he uh, can be seen uh, now, I believe it's in the show Rescue Me. Uh, he, he's got a, uh, a, a you know, a highly publicized part in that. And uh, despite his health issues, he's been able to overcome that and return to acting. Uh, how was it working with, uh, of course, he was younger at the time, and uh, Michael J. Fox? It's another one of those magical things, you know. You can't, couldn't wait to get to work. Just couldn't wait to get to work. And uh, that's, that's the story of my life. <laughs> well, Mr. James Hampton at Texas Fright Mare Weekend. We've had a great time, and I certainly appreciate you taking the time to talk to us, sir. Thank you, Mr. Real. Get out there and catch me a bass. Oh, well, my father was the fisherman. I, I never could catch him, but uh, I you, gave Jay. it a try. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay.